Cool. So thanks so much for doing this. Yeah, no problem. Appreciate my it. My pleasure. So tell us a bit about yourself and uh, the club. Well, my name is Kevin Randall. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been a member of the club for four years. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm pretty big into the anime, comic books, video game, just any nerd culture thing. I'm pretty much a big fan of. So, yeah. That's cool. What brought you to the club? Uh, today I came for a movie. We were doing Fairy Tale. Mm -hmm. um, normally I come to the club just for the culture. You know, it's like being amongst my people. You know, so. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah. How, did, how did you find it originally? Um, I typed in on Google, you know, anime clubs, local anime clubs, and I found DC Anime Club. And so I came in for my first meeting, and I was so warmly welcomed that I just I couldn't find myself not coming back. I had to keep coming back. It was great. Nice. Yeah. Um, what are some of the, the shows here that you wouldn't have normally have, have found that just kind of stuck with you? Oh, um, well, a lot of... Uh, Life, the day in the life animes, and you know, there's a lot of uh, underground anime that people don't know about, even as a fan. And so, a lot of them I've learned by talking with people, um, you know, they're viewing, showing them what I viewed, uh, learn, reading more manga, mm. things like that. So, you know, lots of that, lots of experimenting and getting into the new stuff. That is very cool. What got you into anime originally? Uh, originally, I got into anime uh, back in high school. In my ninth grade year, mm -hmm. uh, I fell across a copy of Fist of the North Star. Wow, classic, all right, yeah. yeah. And so I got so into it, um, I, I tried to find more, you know, I found Dragon Ball at the time. Mm -hmm. And uh, what really got me, which really made me know that I was a fan, I sat through and watched all of Akira, and then I did it again. Okay, yeah. Uh, wow. Consecutively. <laughs> when I told people that I watched it two times yeah, consecutively yeah, yeah. my first, they were like, yeah, you're you're hundred <laughs> percent. Could I say so? But still, yeah. still my favorite here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Nice classics. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Very yeah. cool. Um, so, what kind of anime appeals to you, both like genre-wise and also in terms of like periods of time? Older anime, newer anime, that kind of thing. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's an interesting question. Uh, well, I'm more of a, a sci-fi person, uh, yeah. so uh, you know, Ghost in the Shell, and you know, more advanced, futuristic type of animes are my mainstay. But I, I do like uh, a lot of feudal uh, animes, things that are a little more realistic, but based on the time before time. You know, it gives you an aspect of my life at a different time, uh, other than our right now. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of, uh, maybe uh, perspective-wise and philosophy-wise anime, people don't know that a lot of anime, it's actually quite deep, you know? and they touch on a lot of uh, subjects, everything from transhumanism to, you know, just relationships and how humans interact with one another, even if it's down to just a few small groups of people. Um, so there's a lot, there's a lot of uh, a culture and very, it can be very cerebral at times. Um, but yeah, I, I'd say mostly uh, sci-fi is where I stay. Gotcha. Yeah. Nice. What are some of your other favorite sci-fi besides Ghost in the Shell and Oh, wow. Um, let's see. Uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Gundam has always been oh, one of my nice. favorite. Uh, yeah. And, and I've always had a love between Gundam and Macross. Mm -hmm. like the two have always been, you know, very. Eh. Um, let's see. There's the Eureka Seven was a good one for me. Uh, what, what else? Wow, there's so many. Like it's hard for me <laughs> to really narrow them down. Let's, let's go back to Gundam. What were some Gundam that really stuck out for you? Um, well, uh, I like the older Gundams, mm -hmm. the one where they're basically like army and tank stuff. Like yeah. 008? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, like, uh, those were really, really mm -hmm. good um, because they really talked about like squad and base, and they were really focused on the people. The later ones got a little more dramatic, but yeah. the, the high tech, they were in space, mm -hmm. they were fighting these battles with, you know, Gundams that were just way outclassed <laughs> than anything else. They're like, there's whole armies and there's just one Gundam that stands against all of them. That's how, yeah. you know, technically it was. So those were always uh, really amazing ones mm -hmm. for me. Um, like Appleseed is also, oh, yeah. you know, and, and so there's like, you know, and, and for me it's more about what the, the anime offers, and mm -hmm. not just the storyline, but the action, but where, where they're taking you uh, in way of, I guess the word would be catharsis, mm -hmm. you know, like you, yeah. you go through it and, and at the end of the story, you're more educated or you've been, your mind's been expanded in some way, and you, you know, a lot of people sit back and like, oh, well this is just a cartoon, but that cartoon has <laughs> probably taught you more than any book or uh, any movie has really ever shown. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's a big, that's a big reason why I like those. That's cool. Yeah. I'm trying to think, yeah, 
there are a few anime that are more cathartic like that than Akira. It's like, right. <laughs> to me, to me, Akira is like Shakespeare's Hamlet. Mm. You know, so that's that's it's it's in my view. Now, don't get me wrong; I'm not comparing mm. Hamlet yeah. to Akira, <laughs> but in anime terms, that's where it stands mm. amongst other anime. Sure, like it really it really is a pinnacle. Like I remember uh, watching an art cell of it in design, and there was this building that's in a in a slit, but this building has so much detail and design to it that it, it truly can't be considered. It has to be considered art. Mm. Like if you looked at this, you'd be like. Somebody drew that with yeah. their hand. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah. Right? So, yeah. and it just, it blows yeah. my mind. That it blows my mind when I see that. Yeah. yeah. That is really cool. Yeah. So what are some of the um, cl the events that the club has done that you've been involved with? Okay. Um, well, every year in Washington, D.C., we do the Sakura Festival, mm -hmm. which is the Cherry Blossom Festival, everybody knows as. Um, and we go in cosplay or some type of uh, ceremonial outfit and we go to the parade uh, as one of the members. Um, we go around and we uh, share our love of anime and our love of uh, design and everything that we love about the Japanese culture with the people who also enjoy it uh, at the, uh, at the uh, festivals. Mm -hmm. So um, we also do uh, conventions. Uh, and if anybody does, uh, is unsure, the conventions we call cons. Um, and there's so many different types, um, like Otakon and Anime USA. And we go to those and we try to spread um, out to fans and let them know that there's a, there's a home here in DC for people who love anime if they didn't know about it. And for those that are visiting, we try to give them a feel of how in DC we appreciate the same things that they do. Maybe a little bit different. There might be a few different people, but we still have the same love for it as you. So, gotcha. Cool. Well, thank you so much for doing this. I appreciate it.